Now, number two. Okay, so Enoch, where are you, Enoch? Okay, Enoch asked this question. Enoch asked, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, let's turn to Acts chapter 1 verse 8. If you have any clarification question about war and killing, please clarify with me. Eh? Now after that, say all sorts of things that I said. Clarify with me. I can't cover everything that is on your mind. Now, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, shall we read together? 1, 2, reading. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in, Ju and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, so this morning we studied the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, correct? When the Lord says, when He blow on them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. What event is He talking about? He's talking about a future event. First He said, I, I will send you. Right? When He said, I will send you, He's referring to this. There will come a point where He will send them out to the uttermost part. So even when He's blow on them, He's talking about a future event. That is going to be in chapter 2, okay? So it's about this event. <laughs> I don't look very... Now, so now the second part. So Enoch's question is this. Enoch asks, Why does Christ command the disciples to go in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria since they were supposed to go anyway to the uttermost part of the earth? Do you understand Enoch's question? Uh. Hey, so ideology, yeah. even the ideology, can, you, can we have an ideology of be one the world? God says, go ye into the world and preach the gospel, right? Make disciples, uh, turn them into Christians, correct? Okay, can that be our ideology? Okay, so what we will do now, let's go to other countries and capture the people put a gun and a sword to them and say, you must become a Christian or I'll kill you. Hasn't been Christian, but good ideology, right? Did God ask us to conquer physically? No. Christ said, my kingdom is not of this world. Not now. Okay? Christ will come and conquer. Okay? So don't, don't. So is the Christian crusade correct or wrong? Anyone study Christian crusade? Jennifer, did you study the Christian crusade? Jennifer? You did. So do you think the Christ, what was the Christian crusade about? So they wanted to recapture lands and all that. They wanted to fight and turn people into Christians. Okay? Do you remember there was a children's crusade? Children's crusade. So one child said, I have a dream. I have vision. Jesus says to go and conquer. Alright? So this little child started to lead all many whole group of children. Oh yeah. Grace, remember. Ah, yeah. Say again. I know a great faith. What 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 did they do? They led, they led, they led children. They let children and they go to war. What happened to the children? You can't remember. You don't want to remember. Whole bunch of them got sold off as slaves. Oh, these children come. All the slave traders that were bringing them to the country on their ship. Wow, this is great. Let's sell them off. And whole bunch of them died also. All right. So God does not want crusades. It is up to God. Right? We don't go conquer nations. So they ran and they were marching. What song did they sing? Anyone remember? They sang, Ferris Lord Jesus. So imagine a whole group of children. Ferris Lord Jesus. And then walking, going to war. Very sad. All right? Because people do not know God's word and they do all sorts of rubbish. In the name of God. So no such thing as Christian crusades. All right? It is wrong. It happened, but it is wrong. So now, back to Enoch's question. Enoch said that if, if they were supposed to go to Jerusalem, and then to Samaria, and then to where? Um, Jerusalem, Judea, and then Samaria, 
and then Samaria, and then to other parts, to extreme parts of the earth. Okay, to extreme parts of the earth. This is Israel. To extreme parts of the earth. So Enoch, your question is, if, if they're supposed to go to extreme parts already, means anyway they should go to these parts. So why don't you say, go everywhere? Okay, Christians, go everywhere, is it? You know, question is, why must name this one, this one? It, just say, go everywhere. Is that your question? Is it? Okay, so, who you want to ask to answer? Brenda, answer. What? So, your mom says, Brenda, go to, go far away and make sure you go far away, spread all these things far away. But at the same time, she say, go to your neighbor's house, then go to, go to Mount Pleasant, then after that, go far away also. Why don't you just go everywhere, then cover everything? I thought it had something to do with because uh, Samaria and Judea really each other. She thinks it's something to do with um, Jerusalem people don't quite like the Samaria, Samaritans um, so they don't quite like each other. You think it has something to do with that? Yeah. yeah. So what has it to do with that? Because they wouldn't the gospel. Yes. Alright, so Enoch. Enoch. The Jews, they don't like the Samaritans. Alright? They don't like the Samaritans because they think they are what? No, why did they not like the Samaritans? They, they thought they were? They were unclean. Why were they unclean? Nancy, do you know why they were unclean? Why do the Jews think they're unclean? Can't remember. To the Jews, the Samaritans are a mixed breed of Jews. They were mixed breed. So to them, they look down on them and they think they're unclean. Okay, mixed breed with the Gentiles. So they don't like them. Okay, Enoch. Would you go and preach to the gospel to someone you don't like? Okay, children are very, un, very, very, very honest. No. <laughs> Alright, Enoch, so that is the reason. Enoch, God wants Christians to go all over the world to spread the gospel. Alright? But God knows that in the heart of the Jews at that time, Enoch, they don't like the Samaritans. So God has to purposely say, make sure you go to the Samaritans also. Alright? Brenda, go and buy vegetables from, from Garden City. On the way, go and wash the car in Mount Pleasant. Because the mom does, knows that Brenda doesn't like to bring the car for car wash. So the mom will specifically say, on your way there, I want you to also to do this. Understand, Enoch? God knows that they don't like the Samaritans, but God said, you also must go to the Samaritans, your neighbor. Why Jerusalem? Why Jerusalem? Justin, why Jerusalem? That was where Christ is crucified. That was where Christ is crucified. Is that all? <laughs> okay, because the Jerusalem people crucified Christ. I don't like you, so I don't, I don't evangelize. Uh, it could be, could be, yeah, I don't like the. Or it could be they're fearful. Hey, in Jerusalem, that's where Christ got crucified, right? If I preach the gospel here, I might get crucified. Maybe we go somewhere further away. It could be that. But also, now, do you, who, do you preach the gospel to your family members? Whose family members are not saved at this point? You think about yourself. All right? Now, sometimes, some Christians, we can be like that. Church evangelism, yes, I go for church evangelism. Go all the way to city, Anzac Day, go by the river, under the hot sun, I go evangelize. Huh? When you're at home, don't even share the gospel to your brother, your sister, your parents who are not saved. Do you think there are Christians like that? There are Christians that are like that. Okay, where they don't care about their own family. And could be other reasons, so many reasons. But God says, remember, start from your home. Start from your home. You're not interested in your home, very unlikely. Your evangelism to other people is true. It's probably fake. Because all my brothers and sisters in church go, so I'll go. Because it's fun. It's fun. For whatever reason. A person who genuinely has a true heart for souls starts at home. Goes to people that he don't like as well. 
Okay? Now, some of these Samaritans and all that, they see them as a lower culture, a lower race of people. They look down on them. Do you look down on people? Do you look down on people? Veronica, do you look down on people? You're very tall, so I guess you do. <laughs> All the tall people. Look down means you say, ah, these people, they are a lower race than others. They are poor. They are culturally backward. They are whatever. So go when God addressed this, you know, God is saying you must not have any prejudice. You know what's prejudice? Prejudice means I don't like you because of your race, your culture, and whatever. You're not from this school, that kind of thing, all right, Enoch? So we must be interested to preach the gospel to anybody. That's why I always say, when people come to church, I can tell who are the real and who are the false evangelizers. Can you? Real evangelizers will go for every single outreach. But when people walk in to church, they don't even talk to them. Do you think that is Jerusalem, Samaria, and other parts of the world? Not. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying or not? So we must examine our own hearts. Examine our own hearts. If we are not interested in Jerusalem, God says, you when you go far away, is false. It's false. So your own church first. Your own church. Okay, so please talk to newcomers. Please talk to newcomers. Today, there was a visitor, there's, there's a person who is not so regular. I see her standing alone. I have to go around asking people, can you please talk to her? Can you please talk to her? We just bundle out among ourselves. Is this Jerusalem, Samaria, and Judea, Samaria, and other parts of the earth? No, correct? It's not. I'm scolding you. <laughs> so all of a sudden, very serious. Do you understand what I'm saying or not? It must be sincere. It must be sincere. Don't gang. God, no, that they will gang up among themselves and be very happy as disciples there. That's it. God knows that. God knows our hearts in church the same. We will just gang up in our Jerusalem. In fact, sometimes we feel we do not want outsiders to come in because it interferes with our dynamics of our friendship group. Right? Sometimes it's like that. So I'm speaking very frankly. I do not want BPCWA to be like that. Reach out. Any race, any color, any school, any background, there must be a genuine interest. You know, understand? No prejudice, okay? Do you only want to play your friends or when new boys and girls come, would you play with them? You should. You should invite them, you should invite them to be part of the group. Caleb, alright? <laughs> okay. Go back and watch the video again, everyone. Alright, so let this sing into our house. So thank you, Caleb. Uh, con uh, Enoch for the answer for the question. Any questions about this? No. All right. So let's let's make sure we to church, neighborhood, street evangelism, all day. It goes like that. Okay. Now next. So please make these people feel welcome. There are many who come. That's why I always say all day. The very critical period is that few weeks. The first few weeks when they come. God knows. The first few weeks, they come, we don't really care about them. Once they go to other church, they see other people are more concerned about them, they stay there. Then we miss the opportunity to help them to learn God's word here, right? Okay. Now, next. 1.30. Uh, each one, what time are we supposed to end? 1.45. 1.45. We'll end a bit earlier so that we don't have to rush downstairs. Um... Wait, I want to say one more thing. You know, in here, they often see the, the Samaritans as people who are prostitutes. Huh? Um, um, poor. Um, there are all sorts of bad characters. Bad characters. Should we evangelize these people when you go for street evangelism? Do you have these eyes? That's, do you have this eye, okay, that see people as Samaritans? Do you? Hmm? Do you have? I think many of us have. They are people with tattoos. They are people with 
long dirty hair there are people that sleep on the street hmm I think I won't evangelize to those do we have that idea this is how the Jews feel these people are filthy these people are low class these people are prostitutes lots of them they are prostitutes why waste our time there let's just go to the uttermost parts of the earth straight away let's bypass them same when we go street to street don't just say uh, let's go to the nice part and then ah oh, see all these people in suit drinking starbucks is it starbucks here no what, what is it called dome uh, sitting at dome uh, these are the ones we reach those sit on the corner and and dirty and all that these are the samaritans all right this is what you know do you understand this is what god is addressing we should not be like that okay we should reach out but of course i'm not asking you to 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 not be cautious all right if there's a big group that looks a bit dangerous don't be a single girl and go in all right and and do all those things so be wise as the brothers can can go and all that and be wise when you're doing it but we should not have the preconceived idea they are not worth talking to the jews had that the Jew, samaritans not worth talking to okay understand that cornelius do you know what i'm talking about okay now actually a few times we talk to these people actually they are friendlier than other people <laughs> they were surprisingly very friendly very receptive we categorize them of course there are some that are nasty right they even try to take your things those you avoid right pray for them give them the track so you exercise wisdom but we should not categorically write them off okay would you reach prostitutes now last time our church the very first church i attended is in the, in the middle of a red light district so we have prostitute outreach where we go down to reach them also they can be elect in the among the prostitutes can there be there can be two all right so we should not so Enoch, you understand? God says, don't just go all, go all these nice, nice places. Enoch, you like to go far away? No. Okay. Alright, so he say, your home, our church, your neighborhood. Do you evangelize to your neighborhood? Do you give tracts to your, club, your neighbors, your next door neighbors? Invite their children for, for HBP? Give them the tract? Give them flyers during Easter and all that? That is what our Christian life should be. If you only go for street evangelism and your neighbors don't even know you're a Christian, then, then Enoch's question must resound in your mind. I'm just here. This whole part, I bypass. Okay? Some went to, went to my neighbor and gave HBP to my neighbor, Holiday Bible Program. My neighbor said, oh, my neighbor is a priest. <laughs> he thinks I'm a priest. <laughs> right? My neighbor's a priest. Uh, so, so please, your neighborhood as well, your relatives, and then talk about others. All right. So that's genuine. That's very genuine. That's very genuine. What do we have here? Top five reasons why church dropouts. Uh, what church dropouts say? Why they stop attending church? Now, please remember, sixty-six percent of well, I take the American view. Um, they are the most readily available results. They stop attending church at least a year after turning 18. So from